I wasn't always like this. You know what did it? Hot coffee. I used to like it. Not anymore. You see, two weeks ago, I was here at the Angel City Coffee Shop getting to know Betty the waitress. Oh boy, Betty Braun. Peter, be proud of me. I finally left that jerk. I got all my stuff out of his apartment last night and it feels great. Really? Yep. So you're free? In fact, after my shift, I plan on celebrating dumping that punk. Do you want to join? Keys. Peter, this is Brad. My brother. Brother? She's adopted. Nice to meet you, Pete. Take care of my little sis, huh? <laughs> oh, sure. We just met. Are you afraid of my brother? Huh? No, 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 I'm not afraid of your brother. <laughs> What's he do for a living? Gangsta, baby. Gangsta. <laughs> Let me get you some more coffee. Letter from corporate. Here, read it. I can't. Dear Mr. Pugu, Angel City Coffee Grounds recognizes that our employee, Ms. Betty Braun, has been your significant other for some time. She's not my girlfriend. We just talked a lot. As such, we regret to inform you that we are not liable for any injuries to your eyes resulting from your domestic altercation while patronizing our store. Thank you, and please come again soon. Come again soon. Can you believe it? I've got doctor bills to pay. This is unbelievable. There is a gift certificate. It's for a two-for-one coffee deal. Anyway, I was tired of always being afraid. So I decided to take a stand for once in my life. Last week, I started my picket. Burn, I tell you! This place will burn you bad! Come one, come all! Grab a sign! Help me protect the public! No more business for Angel City Coffee Grounds! No more coffee! Down with the ground! Burn, baby, burn! Burn, baby, burn! Mom! He made it fall! It's okay, honey. Let's get you another. I don't think he saw you, sweetie. I'm sure he didn't mean it. Oh, no, I meant it. I meant to warn you. Hey, wait, come back. Don't get burned by Angel City. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, hey, sorry, buddy. Hey, that's all right. Say, what are you doing here? Oh, I was coming to get my cones. Yeah, scones are good. Scones <laughs> are good. So, uh, tell me, are you a religious man? Yeah, sure, I guess. Uh, then you believe in justice. Of course I do. Of course, good. Pick it with me. Why should I pick it in front of Angel City? Why? Because you're a man of principles, values, and integrity. You are, right? Yeah. You're a man who helps those who cannot help themselves, am I right? Well, I try my best. And if you had the power to save and protect lives, wouldn't you do so? Of course I would. Would you wait till tomorrow? No! You'd act today! Right now! Oh, I get what you mean, uh... Carpe diem. Not a boy! Carpe die! Seize the day! Seize the day! That's it! You got it! Uh, your name? Sam. My name's Sam. Sam! This is Sam, everyone! Yeah! Sam's gonna carpe diem! Let's all carpe diem! Carpe diem, buddy. Whatever. Don't give your money to a business that won't give you the time of day! That's right. Who blindly ignores your suffering! That's right. Who refuses to see the truth and accept responsibility for the injuries caused by their untrained employees! They can't see the truth. Look! I was burned! See? We must warn others, or the guilt is rightly ours for doing nothing. We cannot stop until this place is closed. Yeah!
You're a really passionate guy, huh, buddy? I am. I know. This is the time to make a difference, Sam, my man. This is the time and the place. Angel City! Hey, hey, okay, I get it, I get it, I'm with you. Carpe diem, right? Seize the day. You know what? I don't really need this anyway. I'm lactose intolerant. Well, Sam, my good buddy, next time try soy milk instead of cream. But not here, though. Somebody give this man a sign! He's got a sign for me. Somebody give me a sign. Burn, baby, burn! 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 I never imagined my cause would spread so fast. Glad I'm here. You know, what an example of the community. He inspires me. Me too. Such a good heart. Have you guys wondered why we're in front of the Angel City? Coffee house! No more coffee! <laughs> He's kind of eccentric, but I like that. Quite endearing. Hmm. So, why here? I have no idea. What do you think? I'm just here for the cream. of imagery of being burned, you know, the way you've wrapped your eyes to symbolize the reality of unseen suffering is so <laughs> incredibly smart. Yes, but I, I really am suffering. I love ingenious symbolism. I followed your lead. I've wrapped my hand, see? Symbolizing the hidden touch of pain. Yeah, but I really can't. You can't? Oh, don't tell me you can't. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. You're, you're the picket guy. Look, look at all the people you've inspired. No more unethical business practices! Isn't that right? Yeah. <laughs> right on! I like you! Just one question though, and it's bugging the heck out of me. Why are we out in front of the Angel City? Whoa, 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 You had me on the right track, and now you're doubting me? Uh, uh, uh. I know, I'm sorry, but but usually when you pick it, you want to be in front of the place He that you... who doubts is like a wave of the sea. Blown and tossed by the wind. Wow. Deep. Well, where's that from? I don't know. But be of one mind. Okay. Got it. <laughs> We're not going to stop until we shut this place down. Right? Yeah. Burn, baby, burn. Yeah. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, burn baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. Mr. Pagu, you've stood your ground here for a couple of weeks now. Every day you're the first one here and the last one to leave. That's hey, amazing let's get some dedication. ice cream later. Hey, what was that for? We are so not going. Well, Lisa, that's, that's, that's totally got inner demons. I'm a man. You know something? Your 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 you mom know, has inner demons. Hear it. Yeah, well, you're hear gonna hear it. This, this is my favorite you program. Totally... A business must take responsibility for the actions of its employees. I'm sure that you would do the same thing if something like that happened to you. I see. There's something I don't quite understand, though, and I'm sure the viewers at home also wonder. Your picket seems to have a counter effect. Angel City Ice Cream has been doing quite well. Do you think that's a result of the new bus stop or the fact that you've chosen the parlor's doorstep for your picket? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Ice Cream Parlor? The one that's three blocks from here. That's not three blocks from here. No, no, no. Angel City Coffee Shop is exactly four bus stops from my house. The, the ice cream parlor is like three blocks that... Never mind, where's that camera? Listen, Belleville viewers, I will not stop until I have this place closed down! You hear me? Close down! Why close it down, mister? Why? Because it hurts people, my boy. It hurts people. See? Oh, it's ice cream. Well, there you have it, folks. It seems that while some believe the new ice cream craze is due to the bus stop, it clearly is not without some help from Mr. Peter Pagu's good-hearted but mislocated picket, intended originally for the Angel City Coffee Shop. Reporting for Channel 8 News, I'm Lisa Putman with Heart of the Matter, where we bring you the real truth.
Bill, back to you. Stand with us! Down the street! Stand! Don't walk away from me! Come join us! <laughs>